All right, so we're live. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back to the Matthew Spencer Show. Um, I'm excited to actually have a studio audience tonight, which I wasn't really expecting, but thank you so much for coming. Um, uh, you guys are supporting what I do, and I really appreciate that. That's great. Um, so tonight I'm going to show you, it's been a while, huh? It's been a while. Um, I did, a, was it was six episodes last year. I did six live shows, which are a lot of fun being able to talk to an audience. And then uh, we we did a cooking, cooking blog a while ago, which hopefully we could do some more of that sometime soon. So thank you guys. Hey, welcome. Thanks for watching on the internet today. I'm going to show you a few music videos. Um, but first I'd like to just celebrate some of the things that I've, I've accomplished in the past you know the the COVID shutdown. Um, some of these things, um, I, actually, I don't remember. It's been kind of a blur. Has anybody else? This been this last nine months have been kind of a little bit of a blur. But I'm gonna celebrate. I'm gonna announce tonight that I actually finished and have published, self-published my very first book, which is called Yeah. It's called Musical Superheroes. And it's a great illustrated kids book. Uh, you guys are gonna love it. You can go on Amazon for $12.95. It's a great price. And it's, it's full of fun illustrations. My, my world of superheroes, you got Trumpet Commando, you got Mr. Music, you got Vuvuzela Man, um, the evil and nefarious Dr. Tritone, um, which it's just a lot of fun. So you're gonna enjoy uh, looking through these, these pages and uh, you can find that on, uh, on Amazon. Um, so that's one of the products I've done. And then also I, I have this, um, in 2009, I did a original concert called Spirit Fruit, A Night of Jazz, which was a lot of fun. And it, it's, uh, I listened to it a f uh, several months ago when I got the, the proof copy. And it was just really an enjoyable concert full of original music. It was about actually an hour, I think about an hour of music. Um, so it's, it's definitely, worth the price. I think it's $9.95. You can get this on Amazon now because it's, it's print on demand, which is really cool. And it's all about the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And it's jazz combo. Um, so I'm really excited about that one. Um, also, I'm excited about, um, I, I got all the, the six episodes of the Matthew Spencer show on DVD and they're all different colors. So you can collect one, collect them all. Um, my personal favorite is, I think it's season, or episode number five, because it has, it's all about UFOs and Farmer Jim. And it's just like, <laughs> I don't know what, it, I just love UFOs. It's just fun. And it's uh, real cartoony, lots of fun. Um, of course, my sidekick, Kooky the Kookaburra, is in, um, I think, most of these episodes somehow, whether it's a cartoon or a puppet, he's participating in the world of Matthew Spencer. So that's fun. You can get those on Amazon. And then I will say this, I, I'm actually becoming more and more proud of this product, this short film, um, which actually this, this one, it actually represents, um, the first fi film, Wheatland Studios film that actually did, was created by different director than me. And it was called, it's called Kilt Heart. It's like a Celtic warrior adventure. And it was written and directed by my brother, Joshua Spencer. And so it was a really fun collaboration. It's just, it's a very short, short film, but there's 14 minutes of, uh, 14 minutes of pure fun on this DVD. It has like, uh, the, the, it was like a short film, which I think is about three minutes. And uh, when I watched it after years of watch, you know, not seeing it, I was like, wow, that was actually pretty good. And we edited it really fun, but basically it's a spoof on Celtic warriors wearing kilts and the enemy, the dark evil, is diet soda cans and so we're just like slaying the soda cans with like knives and and uh bb guns and it was a kind of i guess you could say partly a childhood fantasy but it <laughs> it features uh acting joshua spencer me matthew spencer greg colts is on there and then Dwayne farquhar it stars as the sage the scottish sage which is absolutely hilarious and you have to see it to believe it <laughs> absolutely have to see it to believe it so, yep, you're going to enjoy it. And then we have an, in, there's like a, a interviews on there, which are kind of fun. And this is actually, all this stuff right now is on the internet. So you can actually watch it on YouTube for free. So go ahead and do that. Uh, support the channel by subscribing and commenting and liking the videos. Um, so you can, can do that. So you can watch that. Um, I was saying about the interviews on Celtic or Kill Heart. Uh, we, we did kind of the spoof, uh, what's it called? Like the office kind of thing where, 
you kind of get into the world of uh, Kilt Heart and it's kind of this fictional kind of paramilitary organization that every time, it's kind of funny if you watch it because every time we say what the organization is, we use a different acronym. It's like Gaelic Warfare Association or it was just, you have to see it, it's pretty funny. So anyway, so that's, I'm pretty excited about that. Applause. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> That sounds, that feels oddly self-serving. <laughs> but I guess that's what you do in a TV show. You just have the audience applies, but you need a director because then that way, um, then it doesn't make me look like I'm being egotistical. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> thank you for applauding. Okay. So anyway, the Matthew Spencer show tonight, we're going to enter into the, the wonderful, magical, musical world of Matthew Spencer. And I'm gonna show you some of the music videos, which is another product I'm working on right now, is the music videos that I've created over the past several years. Um, and one of the really cool things about doing the Matthew Spencer show and one of the, the great challenges, but also it's, it's been pretty life-giving is being able to create original music videos specifically for the show. And that was my idea for the Matthew Spencer show to start with was to create a platform that I could be creative in and really it does, it, it drives you to, oh man, I have to create something. And so we're gonna start tonight watching the Matthew Spencer Show theme. Once upon a time, there was a guy in a small town. He was just like anyone else. When one night he woke with a dream, a dream to do a night show. Things started happening, things started happening around here. It's Matthew Spencer Show. The Matthew Spencer Show. It's Matthew Spencer Show. The Matthew Spencer Show. A world comes alive with heroes and villains. We try to survive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so that, that's the Matthew Spencer Show theme song. Um, it, was, it was actually a lot of fun to create. Um, and it's, it's inspiring for me to see that again and think, wow, what, the, what are the possibilities? Uh, what, what future music, uh, what future music will, will we create here at the Matthew Spencer Show? Um, so yeah, thanks for, thanks for listening to that. Um, seems like I was gonna say, ah oh, yeah, I was thinking like, if I were to make a feature film, what if, what if, I love the word, the, the phrase, what if, what if we created a musical that happens to happen in Longmont? And so that's something rolling around in my mind right now, but that's kind of what I'm actually doing. Um, it just doesn't have like a, uh, uh, a plot line that's running through it all. It, but, um, so that was just the thought I had. Um, so speaking of musicals, if, there was a long month musical. I think this song would have to be part of it. Hey, Kooky, it's time for a bike ride. How about we sing a song? Here we go. At long month, it's my town, my kind of city. Kind of city. Hey, Matthew, that was a lot of 
The additional uh, cinematography video work was done by Patty Spencer, who also doubles as my mom. <laughs> and of course, my uh, singing or bicycle riding partner, Cookie the Kookaburra, uh, was present uh, in the making of this film. And yes, uh, you were wondering, but no animals were harmed in the, <laughs> make, in the making of this film. <laughs> so, yeah, don't tell anybody. Shh. Nobody was nobody was hurt. It's fine. So that's um, Longmont my town and when i created that i was thinking man I, I had it in my mind for a while but i wanted to make a song that is inspired and it, it, it raises pride and love for our city uh civic pride i guess you could say uh, but i was inspired by you know the songs like frank sinatra chicago uh or uh new york new york uh chicago i think it's called my town i forget exactly what it's called but those songs that are just like fun and like uh you know uh, in the old movie, so I thought, hey, let's create another song, um, some, and then riding through town on a bicycle. So that's a lot of fun. All right, whoops, we're gonna watch it again, apparently. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got, what else we got here today. Oh yeah, I wanted to plug. So my new website is called MatthewSpencer.tv. There I am, on my website, and I got my three buzzwords called faith, music, and imagination. And so that's my brand. You can find me on Facebook and YouTube, and you'll be able to see more of my productions. So if you want to find the products I mentioned here, you can. there's links there on my website, so you can go there uh, and connect with me and follow me on Facebook and uh, on YouTube, and I'd really appreciate that. Um, also, I have a production studio called Wheatland Studios. This is a separate website, but I do film, I do video, and I do commercials. And additionally, I have a lot of uh, talent in the area of social media, graphic design, sound production, music production. So if you're interested in working with me, contact me um, and send me a message. And I'd love to hear about how I can help you present your message to the world. All right. So that's Wheatland Studios. And I have the same buzzwords here. Faith, music, and imagination. <laughs> but that's my studio. 
And um, so that's where you can find um, some of my stuff. All right. Now I want to tell you guys about a project that I did a while ago, actually. This is the first project I created out of college and I had so much fun making it. And um, so what, you know, sometimes when you create something, uh, you look back and you say, wow, you know, maybe we could have done better or, or, you know, whatever you look at it. But, but I realized that this is actually my first directing credit. This is actually the first short film I ever got. Like I directed, I, I created it. I wrote it. My co-writer was Greg Colts, my friend Greg Colts. And, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to be proud of this and I'm going to put it on DVD so that this is actually, actually, you can actually order this now. Um, I'm getting some copies, uh, but there's two short films on it, which are kind of, uh, they're funny, but I'll tell you what the better batch of beer is. Does anybody um, ha 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 want to hazard a guess? <laughs> the better batch of beer. This is family entertainment, and it follows the adventures of James. And there's this house. Okay, the idea. The idea. Okay, we only we only actually created two episodes. I had envisioned more episodes. I did some commercials, which I'm, I think I'm going to show you here in just a second. Um, but I, I had envisioned kind of a sci-fi channel. Uh, meets, um, I don't know what you call it exactly, but there's this like, like a British colonial uh, guy, okay, and he's running this house that helps improve bachelors who happen to be slobs, and it helps them become manly men, and, and of course there's science projects happening in the basement, and you know, aliens maybe landing, and things like that. So it's just really kind of zany, fun. So that's what the Better Bachelor is the Better Bachelor Bureau. So let's actually, let's watch the first short film of, actually, you know what, before we show you the short film, you need to see the commercials. So let me show you the commercials first. That, I don't know if anybody's actually seen these. Have you guys seen these? You've seen them, okay, let's see. Well, let's see. These commercials for the BBB. Webisode commercial reel. Introducing the Butter Bachelor Bureau. <laughs> so that was the uh, scientist Ed. Okay. This is the other character, James, who I happen to star as. <laughs> so there's these two mannequins in the show, and one of them's Bill, and one the other one's Ted. And they happen to be alive, or are they? So that's kind of the idea of the. Um... Uh oh, there's there's Ted. He's got the fridge open. So anyway, we did that about 11 years ago. I think there's a couple more here. The Butter Bachelor Bureau. Ed doesn't have a license yet. So now you have been introduced to the Better Batch of Bureau. Could it work, you think? Maybe? Sort of? Kind of? <laughs> um, well, let me show you. I'll actually, I want to show you the very first. Um, I'll show you the first episode, okay? So here's the first episode of the Better Bachelor Bureau. Good morning. My name is 
Mr. Harold, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, securely tucked away in a suburban neighborhood, far away from the hustle and bustle of the big metropolis, there was a house, but not just any house. In this house lived four very unique individuals. James, Ed, Biff, and a person simply known as P. With all of their unique eccentricities and personal quirks, they inhabited the Better Bachelor Bureau. Ah, yes, this is James. We'll get to know him much better. He is a delightful chap, motivated in every way. You can learn a lot from him. Well, it's time. Come right on in, and let's watch the story unfold. Hey guys, it's great to see you all. If you just take your seats, we can get started. Let's start with this. What do you guys remember from last month's seminar? Right? Uh oh, Biff. Well, how about you? We'll start with you. What do you remember? Where's your name tag? Don't you already know my name? supposed to make a name for yourself without a name tag, right? Hey man, this guy's totally got a point. He is good. Well, it's a darn good thing that someone here had the foresight to bring name tags. Well, Biff, I'm actually glad you forgot your name tag today. It provides a perfect segue into today's topic, preparedness. Okay, class, can any of you tell me in your own words, what does preparedness mean? Biff! It's good to see you volunteering. Don't you mean preparation, as in being ready? I mean, is that even a word? Yes, Biff. As a matter of fact, it is a word. Oh yeah? What dictionary are you using? Your mom's dictionary? <laughs> 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 This guy is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ed, leaving so soon, are we? Well, it was swell of you to join us this time. I'll be sending you a, a reminder in the mail about next month's seminar on building self-esteem through keeping daily journals. Whoa. That's a pretty tie he has on. That would make a totally groovy headband. Hmm. Wonder if James will let me borrow it sometime. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you hear that? It is now time to turn the page. All right, everybody, that was the Better Bachelor Bureau pilot episode. All right, only two episodes were were filmed um, of that, 
uh, before it went to syndicate or didn't go to syndication. <laughs> but you know, it, it kind of occurred to me recently. Um, can't turn it down. Uh, it occurred to me. Spencer's Unleashed logo, huh? Huh? Whoa, haven't seen that one in a while. The Better Bachelor Bureau. Okay, so what I was trying to say here, before I was so rudely interrupted by the Better Bachelor Bureau, was it kind of occurred to me that since I'm actually the only Bachelor still in the cast, I could just like get a completely new cast and do <laughs> new episodes. It'd be great. Of course, when you're acting, you don't necessarily have to uh, exhibit the qualities of what you're acting about. But uh, you know, we could we could redo the whole thing. You know, make another few short films um, with the the enhanced technology and uh, gained skill uh, that I've acquired in the past 10 years. So anyway, that's the Better Batch of Bureau. I'll show you a few more, uh, maybe just a few more music music here. Um, since I have a live studio audience, what would you rather see? Would you rather see Dance of the Leaves or Welcome to the Jazz Lounge? Leaves? Are you feeling more fall-y today? Yeah. All right, so ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, you are now about to see my original music video called Dance of the Leaves. Because it's almost fall, we will be celebrating fall very soon. Here we go. That is called Dance of the Leaves. Ah. And the idea I hoped I kind of wanted to, to show you is just the swirling of the leaves and, and how that kind of meets music. So that I really enjoyed getting that on film for you guys to enjoy. All right. So I want to encourage you one more time just to go to matthewspencer.tv, check out, um, you'll be able to, to find my channels there. And then my latest uh, products, like, uh, as I said earlier, the Musical Superheroes book, which is now um, available on Amazon. You can get print on demand. So if you order it on Amazon, I'd really appreciate it, actually, if you would leave a comment or if you order from Amazon, leave a comment and, and give me a good review. Um, and that will help boost, uh, you know, people finding, be able to find this uh, book on um, Amazon. It's got a lot of cool illustrations. So thank you guys so much. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me tonight on the Matthew Spencer Show. 
and I hope you have a good night. God bless you, and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye. Ha, ha, ha.